Hello everyone. Today we will be talking about Max Min Con principle. So the Max Min Con principle is actually the basic of any research. Now there are different types of research methodologies which we take up like randomization or blocking whatever we take up is actually to fulfill the criteria of max min con principle now everybody has heard that the max min con principle is actually stands for maximizing systemic uh, systematic variance minimizing error variance and controlling the extraneous variables now let's understand what these variances are systematic variances error variances this everybody knows but we need to get in a little bit in depth to understand what is variance variance is also the basis of any kind of experimentation any kind of research now let's understand what variance is now here we are talking about psychology psychology as a subject so in psychology usually maybe 90 to 95% of the experimentation which happens it happens with humans now what is the characteristics of human that is that they are different in nature they cannot be seen as objects of course uh they are not equally made so if there are 10 people in the experimentation group 10 of the people would be different now let's take a basic experiment there would be a control group where the iv would not be given iv not given in the control group the iv is given to the experimental group or usually it can be also said that the clinical group is receiving the iv see that the group receiving the independent variable now let's take an example here suppose we are seeing that um the effect of cognitive behavior therapy on depression now depression would be something which these both these groups of people would have so if i see the control group the experimental group 10 people here also 10 people both of them have depression and the experimentation is that we are seeing if if cbt helps so we are only providing cbt to the experimental group just to see if there is any difference so like suppose after one year if there is some difference in these 10 people then we will know that the difference is because of cbt because we try to take same kind of people in both the groups people who are diagnosed with depression now i, I know this is not ethically something a research group would form but i'm just explaining for uh, for the sake of explaining maximum con principle here so the cbt which we give for these 10 people who have depression now at the end of suppose at the end of at the end of one year we see that there is some difference in this group so we can owe that difference to cbt that is what it is 
the systematic variance. Now, we want to increase systematic uh, variance, not increase but maximize. We want to see the full effect of CBT in the experimental group, which is causing the systematic variance. We want to see how much difference CBT has, uh, CBT has on uh, the experimental group. So that difference is actually systematic variance. We want to see the systematic variance. Now, what did I say? We work mostly with humans. So when we are working with humans, there will be individual differences. What are the individual differences? The individual differences would be personality, intelligence, attitude, gender, reaction time, age of the person. Everything would be a part of the error variance so these these individual differences actually cause error variance but we do not want this we want to see the maximized effect of iv which is the systematic variance but when the result is there suppose the result is 10 now in that 10 8 could be part of systematic variance and 2 error variance. Now we do not want to see the effect of error variance because we just want to see the effect of IV. So when these <coughs> individual differences are there, we try to we try to reduce it. That is why here it's said minimize error variance. So want to minimize it we cannot completely remove it but we can minimize it now how do we minimize it what we can do is that we take 10 women in control group and we also take 10 women in experimental group so we are controlling the gender here it's just women that is how we can control now we can control the age by taking only 20 to 25 years old so that is how we are controlling so we can control these changes differences but we cannot completely remove them we cannot completely remove age we cannot completely remove the effect of the kind of personality uh, or the gender now suppose the intelligence which we take is 100 to 110 for both groups. So we are controlling different factors which might affect the uh, use of CBT. That is how we are controlling error variance. Also, error variance is also called in group differences. In group differences because in 10 people, it if we take two men eight women there would be in group differences if we take somebody iq of 85 and somebody iq of 120 then there is in group differences so we want to control these by controlling these we can increase the systematic variance actually by controlling error variance we can increase systematic variance because then the effect of the error variance will be very less and the effect of the systematic variance would be much more. So when the IV is given, it's again systematic variance plus error variance. We're getting both. So, but we want to increase this and we want to decrease this. This is max min. There is something called control. Con. So we are controlling the extraneous variables. The extraneous variables are light, temperature, sound. Now how? Maybe when the therapy session is going on, when the therapist is giving CBT, it could be that the it is given in a place where soundproof, in a soundproof place. So there is no other disturbances. Uh, the illumination can be constant in the room. So this is how we control so that these do not have any effect 
on the participant. This was your Max Mincon principle and this is followed in almost all the researches. We want to maximize the systematic variance which is the effect of IV. We want to see the full effect of IV but as these are human subjects there would be error variance so we want to minimize these and we control the extraneous variables. Thank you for listening in. Hope you understand.